Next up, we've got one of my favorites, which is data classes. As the name implies, data classes are great for storing data, especially immutable data. And when you use the data modifier on a class, it's going to automatically get an implementation of equals and hash code that will uh, make it so that these objects are compared by value instead of being compared by reference. Also for data classes, Kotlin will implement a toString method for you so that you can print out the contents of the objects. And some Kotlin developers just love using data classes just for this feature even. Data classes can also be destructured. And when it does this, it will appear in the same order that the properties appear in the constructor. So we might want to, for example, extract the title and author properties into variables, and we could do it like this. And finally, since we most often use data classes with immutable objects, it also includes a function called copy. So instead of changing the data on the object itself and mutating the data in that object, copy will create a copy of the object with the changes that you want applied. Data classes are great for any kind of simple carriers of data. I like using them for data transfer objects, uh, intermediate data types when processing collections, and most types that just need to be compared by value.